everyone today i would be teaching you a little bit on user stories so before going into what is a user story you as a business analyst or a product analyst or someone who's working on a product and who's really interested in developing the product and improving the product definitely you would come across many users around you who would be providing requirements and inputs for your product as to how the product is supposed to look how the product is supposed to function so you get requirements from all ends it can either be from your stakeholders it can be from your product managers it can be from your project managers it can be from the end users it can be from the clients it can be from anyone as long as they are you know interested in your product and they actually own the product so requirements come in from all ends and when you get requirements you always need to understand that people who give you requirements are not always tech savvy people they may not give you technical requirements they would give you requirements in a very informal way they would give you requirements from a lay user's point of view so these type of requirements that come in from an inform like from a you know non tech savvy person in an informal way we can call that as user stories so going into the definition of what is a user story a user story is an informal description of a feature or a function in a software product so it is written from the end user's point of view as i said usually the people the end user's point of view would be like as a user i need to do this and that so it's always from the end user's point of view when they tell you what actually they want out of the product and the next one is it's usually noted on index cards post it notes or on any pmp softwares so generally when you get in this requirement the first thing that you would do is you would jot it down on some note you would then maybe add it to an index card you would add it to a post it note and then eventually you would be adding it into your pmp software so that's how the requirements are gathered and noted and then goes into your software so this is a brief um, audio on user stories and now let's look into the format so the format of user stories is actually broken down into three halves the first one is as a persona i want to perform a particular task so that's the task description and the third part is so that i can achieve this outcome so it's always the first then describes the persona the second part is what actually the person wants to do and the third part is what by doing this particular task what is the outcome or what is the solution that the person is expecting so let us take some very real life base examples so let's take a teacher so as a teacher i want to create a timetable so that i can schedule my classes the second example is as a student i want to enroll myself in sports so that i can be fit so these are some very base examples now let us look into an example where you work with a product so here let us take the scenario of you being a business or a product analyst and you're working on let's say an e-commerce application so what could be the real possible user stories now make sure there can be like 100 user stories but these are just going to be some examples here that i'm giving you so the first one is as a customer i want to add product to a cart so that i can pay for all cart items the next user story can be as a customer i want to make an online payment so that i can make instant payments anytime and anywhere the third one could be as a store owner i want to create discounts for my products so that i can increase my product sales so through these examples the first half who are the personas looking at these examples you have two personas here the first one is your customer and the second one is your store owner next look into the features so what are the features you can identify through these three user stories the first one is the the persona looks in for the feature of adding products to a cart and the second one is making online payments the third one is the store owner persona they want to create discounts for a product and through these activities or features what is the desired outcome so if you look at the outcomes and solutions that your software needs to provide is the user should be able to pay for all cart items make instant payments anytime and anywhere and the third outcome would be increase product sales so these are the three outcomes so when you look at your user story you would find that you would be capturing your personas you would be capturing the features or functions 
and the third one is you would be capturing the solutions so apart from this you can even define your user stories more in detailed and that's done usually in the further point of your project where you actually give it out for development so a detailed user story could look like this first you'll have the base user story as a customer i want to add products to a cart so that i can pay for all cart items the second one is a precondition so the precondition is something that in order to perform this task what the user has to perform initially so if you look into this case the precondition would be the customer must log into the app or if he doesn't have an account the customer should first register the next one is the acceptance criteria in order for this user story to say to be like complete and to be you know accepted by the user these are certain criterias so the first one could be the user should be able to add products to your cart the second one is user should be able to remove products from the cart the next one is as the products are added to the cart the sum of all products must be calculated and displayed the fourth one would be even if the user logs out the items in the cart needs to be available the next time the user logs into the application so these are all the acceptance criteria that need to be satisfied in order for this user story to be set as complete the next part of your user story would be post conditions so by ex, you know executing these criteria what would be the final post condition it would be the user would have added products to their cart the next set is toast messages so sometimes when you finish executing that user story there might be certain success or failure messages or notifications or alerts or anything that you want to display to the customer so these come into this section so in our case it would be that you would have a toast message saying that the product is added to the cart successfully apart from this you can have validations which show you what type of validations need to be done in the process you can also add logs that is what type of information needs to be added in activity timelines etc and you can also add attachments these attachments can be anything like supporting documents it can be like any ui or ux screen that you want to give to the developer it can be anything as long as it's related to the user story so the, this user story format it's actually it varies from different organizations but usually a user story contains this information so that's it for the user story section make sure always you use story when you capture a user story it doesn't have to be very technical as long as you capture the personas the features and the solution that you want to capture for your software so thank you so much and do share your feedbacks